Hello Aquarius, Elsie here to do your reading. It is for the week ahead, my friends. How are you? Thanks so much for clicking here. Aquarius, today we are doing two hands. I do that every second week, uh, twice a month I come here and I do two hands. So we're going to pick a deck. Uh, we'll go with that. We'll find out what's coming up for you Aquarius in the week ahead. Then we'll pick up that deck and we'll put down a second and see what other kind of information we can get from you. Sometimes these two readings, they will follow each other or connect and sometimes they won't. So let's see what's going on for you in the week ahead, Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter and Aquarius, whenever you find this reading, whether it's today, tomorrow or next year, it could resonate as a general reading after all, right? And it does matter when you find them. So if it doesn't resonate, it might not resonate for now, but it might resonate later. Let's find out what's going on for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Tell me about Aquarius. We've got temperance for you, Aquarius. So something is going down. A moment of alchemy. There's a faded moment coming up here. Something that um, something that maybe you've been going back and forth, back and forth on is about to take hold here. Maybe, possibly, whatever you have been going back and forth on, I want to say you're trying to find the balance or the middle ground for you. You're being patient, waiting for the moment of shift, feeling this shift. But I feel like that what you're trying to decide on is whether or not to be vulnerable. I feel like sometimes you're kind of shut down, shut off, a little bit aloof or detached, right? Um, keeping it all to yourself, not really playing your cards. And I feel like there, the temperance is here to tell you that maybe something here is, is about to change. We do have the King of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Wands. You know what, Aquarius? I feel like we're looking at. Um, I feel like we're looking at something that is arriving for you. Something that you've been sort of looking out, looking out there for. And I want to say that whatever it is that you've been looking out there for, Aquarius, I think it's already within you. I want to say with the King of Pentacles here. I, if it's if it's something to do with your Pentacle world, if it's money, or if it's material wealth. It has something to do with your home, your children, your family, your job. I feel like I feel like this is already with you, I want to say. And it's up to you to expand it. So I feel like you you will expand in the 3D world in some way. We'll keep reading, of course, but we're going to find out what, what comes up here. There's something here you've been really patient about and you've been waiting for it. But sometimes what happens is we're waiting for something, but it actually is already under our nose. We just can't see it. And that really is the case with most things. Most things that are given to us by the universe, a lot of people... Um, we'll say, where's mine? Where's mine? Hello, how about me over here? But because it doesn't come dressed up or in the right box with the right colored bow, they don't recognize it. And so I want to say that maybe you're in a situation where you already have the wealth, you already have everything that you need, but you don't recognize it as such. So you're still waiting. You're still waiting for the moment of alchemy, but I feel like the moment of alchemy is here. All you have to do is kind of let go, be vulnerable enough to see it. That's what it feels like here. We've got the world card here and we have the tower. So I feel like there is some sort of a shift of energy coming in for you here that is going to show you that you've accomplished something, that there there has been a milestone. You've already reached the milestone that you're wanting to reach, but it almost feels like somebody here is is too busy looking forward into the future. It's like, okay, I got that thing done. Now I'm going to the next one. So instead of sitting down and, and looking at, at yourself, in the mirror, which where is where I think you will find the King of Pentacles. And this one is the one who is the master manifester, right? This person is the overgiver. They're very charitable and they love to share whatever they have. And so because they're constantly throwing charity and loving and kind things at the universe, they're getting it back. So this, this particular king doesn't really have to do much manifesting. They're now in a circular energy of the Wheel of Fortune, right? And uh, it keeps coming in as long as they keep, um, as long as they keep giving it out. So I want to say that there's going to be a shift of, um, of energy here. I think it's a shift of the mind because we do have the, the uh, Knight of Swords here. A shift of the mind. It's like someone will say something or do something or um, there's going to be someone who will remind you. Maybe you're just not looking close enough or maybe you didn't notice this. Um, and I feel like I'm supposed to tell you that like your abundance is already here. That you've been waiting for it. You've been really patient. But I feel like it could be, for some of you, that you're detached, right? We've got five pentacles, one in the hand of the king, and then we've got four. That maybe you're living in scarcity. Maybe you don't see it because no matter how much you have, you feel like it's not enough. Maybe you are measuring your worth in 
in material possessions. And sometimes, um, and I'm not saying it could, it's all for all of you, right? But maybe sometimes we take our eye off the prize. Uh, that wealth comes in different ways. It's not always in uh, monetary gains, right? Tell me about uh, the tell me about the Temperance card, please, for Aquarius. Look at the Seven of Pentacles. You've been working really hard. It's almost like your head's been down. You've been working really hard, nurturing things, picking a path and nurturing that path. And you you haven't really stopped to smell the roses. I feel like this person here has got all the sunflowers behind them. And granted, sunflowers don't smell very good. But, um, you know, I feel like somebody has has needs to stop, turn around and look behind them. Look at everything that you've accomplished. That's what it feels like. All the hard work that you've put in, all the nurturing um, and... Um, all the intention that you've put in here. We've got the Seven of Cups. Why is that? We've got the Hierophant. Okay. So it, it does feel like somebody here is very accomplished in their life. Highly intelligent, very logical, moves very slowly, knows what they're doing, is very sort of educated, right? The, the king is somebody who's who's built themselves um, up to a certain place in their life. And I feel it's because they're careful, they move slow, they go over the details. You're a fixed sign, right, Aquarius? So it could likely be that that's you as well. Um, but I feel like that the reason that you don't realize that you've accomplished so much is because you've got tunnel vision here. <laughs> like it feels like the Hierophant is telling me that there's a lesson to be learned. And the lesson to be learned is about the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups as it breaks down here is the Two of Cups is here and the Five is up there. So I want to say that there is, it, it seems to not matter whatever you've accomplished in your life, that you don't seem to recognize it or you don't really seem to say, hey, yeah, Aquarius, pat yourself on the back. I've done really good because I feel like you have tunnel vision. It feels like the tunnel vision is about some sort of commitment or a romantic situation. It's like you won't consider yourself to be successful until you have a plus one. And um, if that's not you, I feel like the lesson that you're about to learn is, is that the two of cups doesn't always end up in the five of cups. The two of cups sometimes when you make that decision does end up to be a happy place. But I feel like you are I feel like you're closed off to um, to relationships, but I feel like that's what you feel will make you a whole person. Like it'll make you feel more whole than you are right now. Even though you've accomplished much, you already are whole. You already are a whole person, right? You don't really need anything added to you in order to feel some sort of um, um, <coughs> worth, I'm going to say. It's like you don't recognize your own worth. Other people probably recognize it, but you don't recognize it because I think your tunnel vision is right here. We do have the uh, Six of Wands. We have the lovers and we have the fool. There it is. I feel like you're very focused on a relationship. So that seems to be where your focus is going. So you don't really even notice all the other accomplishments that you've made because to you, all the rest of it doesn't matter if I don't have someone to share it with. So we do have um, the lovers card. We have the fool. I feel like the six, the six of, um, of wands is telling me victory right? It feels like you've come from a hard place or you've had a hard life up to here. And uh, you've got the lovers here, which is a choice. So you're choosing to go on some sort of a new path. But I feel like, like I said, it feels like somebody here is living in a little bit of lack. Um, feeling like uh, because I don't have, I don't have a commitment, because I don't have, um, because I don't have the two cups. It's like somebody here, it's like I don't have my soulmate, so what does it matter? Well, it all matters, <laughs> everything matters. Um, and especially like you're the, the king of pentacles, feminine or masculine, it feels like you've really accomplished a lot, that you're very comfortable in your life. We have the strength card, we have the eight of pentacles, and we have the 10 of cups. Yeah, it's like you're holding back. It's like, I must work on myself. I must work on myself. I must work on myself. The Eight of Pentacles is here. It's like, I got to work harder. And I feel like that you're trying to find the courage to work harder to find a family. Like it feels sort of, I feel like you, you must um, notice that you've already accomplished. You must notice that you're already worth something, that you already have worth, that you already have accomplishment. And when you realize that, that's when the rest will be added to you. But I feel like there's somebody struggling with gratitude here. And I'm not saying you're ungrateful. I'm saying that it's it's uh, you're struggling with, um, like you're holding back from your accomplishments, which means I feel like you're shut off, shut down. You're like, ah, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I did that. It doesn't matter that I did that. What matters is I don't have a partner. And I feel like somebody is missing the whole picture tell me what the outcome is here for Aquarius here what does Aquarius do next 
We have the Two of Pentacles. You need to make a decision in the pentacle world about real-time things, about starting something new, possibly. Page of Pentacles is here. And the Knight of Cups. So we have three pentacles here, right? So I feel like I feel like what's what's supposed to be going on here is you need more friends. You need to find more friends because I feel like one of those friendships ends up crossing over into something that might be romantic related. However, you will never find love unless you have love for the self. So make sure that you've got all of that in place. And if you want, uh, however, however much you wish the person who's coming into your life to love you, you must love yourself that way first or you'll never find that person or, or, or that person will never find you, I should say. It's the other way around. You will never attract somebody if you can't see if you can't see these accomplishments then that you've already got um, here, if you can't be grateful for what you already have, then all the other stuff I feel is like waiting for you. I don't feel like it's not yours. I feel like it is yours, but I feel like you'll, if you can't have gratitude for what you already have and see the accomplishments up to here, that you won't be able to move forward because you won't appreciate that either. <laughs> so, um, so we do have the, the lovers and the fool. Look, I feel like there is somebody coming in the future, but it feels like there, there must be... You must stop looking for it, I feel, with the Three of Wands. You have to stop looking for it and realize that you're not waiting for the expansion. You're already in the midst of expansion. Look how much you've you've accumulated. Whether this is talking about family or job or material wealth or whatever it is, I feel like you've already accomplished so much. So I think from here, you're supposed to just enjoy you're supposed to enjoy the Nine of Cups because I feel like you already are in your wish fulfillment. It's just that you can't see it. And um, we've got the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords. I feel like you're looking at the negative and not necessarily looking at the positive. Looking at all the things that you've lost instead of understanding that you actually are in your wish fulfillment at this time. Um, we do have the Hermit energy here. So maybe you keep to yourself possibly. I feel like you are going to... Um, you are going to feel inspired here to move towards something that I maybe you're going to be signing up for classes or this might be where you meet this this new person here. Um, but it feels like um, somebody here is like moving really slowly towards maybe becoming a student or learning something new. Maybe you will finally see that you have accomplished so much, like so much, right? We've got the Nine of Pentacles here. It feels like you have accomplished so much. You've grown so much for yourself here. But I feel like I feel like you keep going into hermit energy saying, waiting for your inspiration. When am I going to be inspired? When am I going to be inspired? I feel like you already are inspired. <laughs> That's what I feel. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. We have uh, Gemini energy here. We've got Aries, more Gemini. We've got uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We've got uh, Leo, Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, lots of pentacles and Sagittarian energy. All right. Let's get to the second hand. <coughs> Pardon me. Tell me what else is coming up for Aquarius, please. The so moon rising, Venus and Jupiter. Tell me about Aquarius. Too many. We've got the King of Cups on the top there. Tell me about Aquarius. What else is coming up for the week ahead, please, for Aquarius? Sun, moon rising, Venus and Jupiter. Tell me about Aquarius. Aquarius, we have the Five of Wands, feeling a little bit in lack in the week ahead, but only because I feel like you're in indecision about something. It feels like you want to make a decision, but you're not really sure if you should because there may be competition. We do have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. It looks like you want to reconnect to someone or come out of hiding, right? The Five of Pentacles is about feeling in lack, feeling in scarcity. I feel like you want to reconnect or it's time for you to to uh, come out of this energy of feeling detached. So whether you're feeling detached or someone is making you feel detached, I guess we'll find out, but we do have the Knight of Cups here. So I feel like what you want to do is, is you're ready to date again. That's what it feels like. Somebody here is, is ready to possibly get back into dating or at least meet new people. But you're worried about all the competition that could be out there. The Knight of Cups is the passive knight, right? This is the one who is sort of wandering about looking for... Um, looking for someone to give that cup to. We've got the moon energy here. So I think, I feel like, first of all, as I'm looking at this, I want to say Aquarius, you need to kind of practice being uncomfortable 
or sorry, you need to practice being comfortable with the uncomfortable. And so for things that you don't know, answers that you don't have, right? You're like, oh, there could be competition. Why would I go back out there? Um, I feel it's because you things are not as they seem because you don't really know if there really is any romance out there. I think you just kind of want to go from place A to place B, find your person and get the hell out of there, right? You don't want to have to sift through all of the all of the different personalities and people. It feels like somebody here does want romance, and so I guess I better get back out there and meet people then. But I feel like you don't really want to because you feel like, ugh, there's so much competition, and I'm kind of holding back. Maybe you've been wishing or hoping to do this for um, an amount of time now, maybe five weeks or so. And yeah, and you've been preparing here. And the thing is, is I feel that um, you've got you've got good boundaries. I feel like you've got good boundaries, and so I feel like you know what you want, and that's really what the boundaries are about. They're for you right you make promises to yourself about uh, what it is that you want when you go out there so I feel like you've been preparing but I feel like it's been maybe five or seven weeks that in your head you've been preparing I guess I should get back out there again maybe I should get on the apps or maybe I should go to some singles functions uh, we've got the six of pentacles in the reverse and we have the Seven of Swords. So this is what it tells me, right? It's like I do want the commitment. And I feel like the commitment is coming. This is future energy for me on the bottom of the deck. We do have the Hierophant. We have the Eight of Wands. I feel like I feel like the Hierophant is incoming. I feel like you will end up having some sort of a meeting um, with someone who I feel is quite spiritual. Now, if you are... Um, you're watching tarot so chances are you're thinking outside the box so i feel like you will be meeting someone who is possibly a taurus but there is um some incoming energy you can see with the eight of wands here incoming energy and it busts you out of your nine of swords your your cycle it's like the nine of swords for me is like you're stuck in a cycle of the one to the nine to the one to the nine and you just need one more sword to get out of the nine and into the ten so you can get back to the ace so um, I'm looking here and it looks like here that the reason that you haven't been out dating is not necessarily because of the competition. I mean, you've got a delicious brain. You're highly intelligent. I mean, you can find your way around the dating world, right? And I feel like it's because you're just you don't want to be breadcrumbed and you don't want to pick up on liars well i feel like for some of you especially if it's in your sun or your rising you're a liar detector <laughs> and i feel like you just don't put up with people and their shenanigans right because you let them shenanigan once they'll shenanigan <laughs> ah. okay that wasn't funny but anyways it made me giggle when i saw it as a meme <laughs> Okay, so the, the Seven of Swords here. So Seven of Swords and Six of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like you're the person who likes to give. So when you find somebody, you like to be the giver. You like to get, you like to get do the back and forth thing. And it feels like here that you're, you don't really want to bump into people who are breadcrumbing. It's like you got to sift through it all to find what you want, right? And that's the truth. And the Seven of Swords telling me, I'm always finding people who like, I don't know about them until the last second when they finally can't hold it down anymore. Until they finally have to say something because um, I've been with them for too long and I can see right through them. Uh, we do have the Three of Cups. So I feel like the Three of Cups is telling me that after a while of sort of sitting back, getting your boundaries in place, it's time for you to get out into the dating world. Um, we've got the Three of Cups, which tells me it's time to get out amongst people, call some friends, join a singles group, get out there and, and just be in front of people. It's not like you have to, you don't have to marry everybody you meet, but maybe it's good to just get out there and find out um, what kind of person that you're interested in. We have the Ace of Wands here. It's another thing that I feel goes along with this. You're like, that's all they want is everybody's looking to hit it and quit it. Well, it's up to you to sort of sift through all of that, right? I feel like you will find somebody and you probably will do quickly because we've got five, seven, and eight. We've got eight wands here. I feel like it's, it's things that are going to start to move kind of quickly for you here, but it's going to be up to you to make the decision. To get out there on that passionate, exciting path, get amongst people. The Three of Cups is the celebration, the happiness, right? Being in a social place, being with friends, family, but being in a place that's social. And uh, we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Swords. And so I feel like this is where it's at. I feel like what really weighs heavy on you is you are looking to invest in somebody, but I feel like sometimes you can be very blunt right? Because the King of Swords is here and that is Aquarius energy. You can be really straightforward, really blunt. It's like you're, the way you sift through it is, do you do this, this, and this? No, next. Do you do this, this, and this? No, next. So I feel like, I feel like this is, 
this is the process. It weighs heavy on you because you do want to find someone to invest in the Ace of Wands and the Ace of, of Pentacles. You want to find a new passionate connection, somebody who's exciting and fun. But what weighs heavy on you is the investment part of it. The King of Swords is here saying that I'm kind of head over heart, blunt and direct. I just want the truth, the honesty, the transparency. We can talk about the King of, of Cups stuff later. I feel like, look at this on the bottom of the deck, that you will be meeting somebody who I feel is someone that you can resonate with, right? Somebody who is like you. So whether they are water signs, maybe you have a water sign, maybe you don't. But whether, whether we're talking about water signs, air signs, or whatever, there's two people here who have a, a connection emotionally or energetically, right? These two people are kind of, they mirror each other. So... I want to say that um, I feel like you will meet some sort of a soulmate here, but it's first to talk yourself out of this obsessive thought pattern that you're in. And uh, it's it feels like it is time for you to, you know, to put back the, the king's crown back on here and, and get out there and, and make a decision of some kind to find out who you want. And look, it should always start as friendship, right? Two pentacles and one is three. But the ace of pentacles is the one that's going to change your life. So I feel like it's like get out there with the thought of making friends, not of getting out there to date. What else do we need to tell Aquarius, please? We have the king of wands in the reverse. <laughs> you need to be motivated, right? The ten of swords. And then we have the justice. Yeah, the king of wands is the one who is who's not feeling it. It's like, I got to feel it, Elsie. Like, I got to feel like I'm ready for it. I got to be excited about it. And I feel like right now you're not. With the King of Wands in the reverse, it's like you won't do anything unless you feel inspired. It's like that for most of us, right? People can try and drag us out to wherever they want to drag us out to, and we won't do anything unless we're inspired, right? I say we because I'm kind of you when I'm reading these, <laughs> these readings here. We have the Ten of Swords, and I feel like... Um, you're just getting over some heartbreak or you're just getting over being betrayed or um, it feels like you've got some justice now. The scales have balanced and you've cleared some karma, but it feels like it was, it took a while to do that. It feels like with the Ten of Swords here that you went through something that was pretty hard, a hard, swift ending possibly. And so that's why you're not really motivated to get out there. But I, I really do feel I'm speaking to somebody who is, who is just wanting to get out there and have a partner to do stuff with and maybe flirt a little bit and you know not looking not looking for marriage per se but just want to find like a new person somebody you can you can have fun with resonate with we do have the queen of swords oh look at that the queen of swords a strength card in the lovers i do believe that you will be meeting somebody absolutely the lovers is here with the queen of swords it's going to be someone who's just like you someone who thinks like you someone who's honest and truthful like you you know from the outside looking in the king and the queen of swords when they're having a conversation other people might be did he just say that <laughs> or did she just say that but these two people know how to communicate with each other right we're head over heart we're going to get to the point let's get to the point let's not sugarcoat it let's figure it out so i feel like the way that you sift through people trying to find a date or trying to find someone for a meaningful connection, I think this person is going to match you just perfect. And I feel like with the king and the queen of cups that we saw on the bottom of the deck, that you might meet them um, and you too might also connect energetically or emotionally, not just not just in the brain space, because I feel like you're both really, really smart. So the lovers is here, and I feel like the queen of swords is a person who has been selected for you. And um, this person will maybe even approach you, right? The, the strength card is here. This person, this person is someone who has liberated themselves. So they speak for themselves. They might be a business owner. They're very, very much standing on their own two feet, and they have a lot of courage. And I think that's something that will attract you. You're talking to the empress. So I feel like you'll meet this person face to face. And I feel like you'll immediately have the feels in the belly. That's what it feels like here. Because I feel like you've been manifesting your perfect person. And it looks to me like this might be your perfect person. And uh, then we go into communication. So I feel like you, again, are going to meet somebody new. Look, we had two readings about new people. I like it. I love it. Um, but I feel like if you were the empress, whether you're feminine or masculine, I feel like you, you're the person who's like, you know what? I'm good. If somebody wants to approach me, they can approach me and I'm good with it. So I hope you two find each other. I'm going to go for now. Thanks, Aquarius, for being here. I appreciate you for watching. And I'm going to be back because I'm always back. You guys take care. I'm out. Bye-bye.